Okay, traders, let's uh, let's go ahead and give a rundown now of the trading competition. I'm excited about uh, what's happening with the leaderboard now and about uh, how we're going about it here. Again, the largest trading competition in the world. And we are on day number seven here of the competition. It has been going fantastic. And I think you're going to see that a lot of people now are playing a little bit more conservative than when we started off. And let's get into the uh, day number seven uh, highlights here. We'll talk about it as Tesla starts to run for the moon. What a great morning session that we've had so far. Here is the leaderboard right now. Day number seven, remember, we go all day today, which is Thursday, all day tomorrow, which is Friday, and we conclude on Monday. And here is the leaderboard. Again, it has not changed. One, two, and three have not changed. Bilal is in the lead. Marco, number two. David H., number three. Again, the difference between uh, three and one is about double. And we're going to be talking about that. Corey Keller has got the top two spots right now. Clark Keller, uh, his team has got number three. William Anderson, number four. And Mike Sanders, number five. Again, you can see right here the difference between number five, 9,500, and 26,000 up on top. You're going to have to really make some headway here to chase this leader and to, and to track them down uh, for Bilal. So we're going to go over that. We're going to talk a little bit about what it takes to be in the top 20. You can see here you've had a lot of movement here. Again, previous rank for Kyle, number 20, moved up into the top five overnight. So congratulations to you, Kyle. Great job on moving up the leaderboard here. Uh, you've got uh, also in the top 20 now, uh, LA, and uh, LA is now uh, moved up 23 spots uh, up to 20 to crack into the top 20. Congratulations. Traders, you only need $5,600 of profit, $5,600 of profit to be in the top 20 here, and $9,500 to break that top five if you want to be part of the winning team or winning packages or to win a package, $8,002 is 10th place. Remember, we are paying out the top 10 places with packages uh, all the way from our pro package down to our intro package here of, uh, of, the, um, uh, of the, uh, the winners here. So again, as we get into to this afternoon, there will be more adjustments, I guarantee it, as we go forward. Just look at the podium. Zero changes again in the top three places. We actually have only three new competitors joining the top 20 today, uh, Benjamin K., Kevin, and L.A. So again, let's go to the daily losses now as we get into it further and, and uh, take a look at where we are, the daily eliminations. We've gotten smaller and smaller and smaller. We've gotten rid of the gamblers here on day one, two, and three, gotten into uh, this here. 34 yesterday came out of the competition with the daily loss limit, 5 in the maximum lost, and 9 with the overall posi overnight positions. 48 total eliminations yesterday. That's very tight, and it's amazing how thousands of traders are adjusting their trading style so quickly during this competition. And we see a lot of the professional traders, a lot of the more skilled traders, uh, learning that they're, uh, um, they're quickly adapting to changing the condition and seeing what it's going to take to win to be in that top 10. So uh, I'm rather sure that there's a correlation between the, the ability of our traders uh, to, uh, to act accordingly and to uh, stay up with the market's changing conditions and to adjust to the changing environment of a competitive nature. And when you're under the heat in a competitive nature, you do things just a little bit different than you do each and every day. So again, we've got over 1,000 traders that are out of the competition eliminated. And I wanted to bring you just a couple of things here now on some of the top traders for the for the day. Uh, first place trader, first place trader, uh, Bilal, uh, traded just 200 shares of H-E-A-R. H-E-A-R was the only, only uh, trade that he took, uh, that they took, shorted 200 shares at $10.36, covered at $10.24. So they're playing very conservative, very, very conservative. Here's your second place, bought only one share <laughs> one share of the SPY and sold it with a one cent loss. Now, uh, we can see what they're doing here, right? Uh, they are playing it very, very conservative. They know that they're on top of the competition. They don't want to lose. They're still trading, but being very, very conservative. 
and make sure that I, I wanted to make sure that I reminded everybody that the competition says, the rules say, that in order to win, you must also trade at least five days out of the total. Again, so, you know, you guys must, must think there that, uh, that that counts as a trading day and not going to say more than that for right now. But, uh, again, you've got to be able to trade. You've got to be able to trade the five straight days. And, uh, again, your strategy is going to maybe make the difference of you winning or losing this trading competition. Okay? So here is also the uh, third place, shorted 1,000 shares of LK, uh, covered it 10 minutes later with a profit, took both long and short positions on Roku, 500 to 1,000 shares and made profits, and then shorted SOLY short 1,000 shares, covering that with a loss. So covering, uh, was entering in long positions in Uber a few times with 500 and 2,000 shares. Again, traders, you're going to have to step up your share count if you're going to want to win this competition. Again, I'm going to say the same thing that I've been saying for all of these days, that you can win this competition if you have not really performed where you want to be to be where you're at right now. Again, understand that you can still do that. Just get out there and do it. Increase your share size and make a go of it. You've got today, Thursday. You've got tomorrow, Friday. And you've got Monday for the trading competition, okay? So you're going to have a lot of traders that are going to be coming up, going to be trying different things, trying to get in there and, uh, and make it happen. So again, it's the tortoise and the hare. You have seen the hare. You have seen the rabbit jump out uh, in the competition. You have seen the, the traders come out. And here's the, here's the chart to prove it. You've seen these traders on day one. You've seen them on day two. You've seen them on day three. They come out of the gate quick. They're out there gambling. And then all of a sudden, things start to get more steady here in day four, five, six, and seven when the professionals and the better traders get in here. And we're going to watch to see this finish. It's going to be dramatic. It's going to be today, tomorrow, and we conclude on Monday. I cannot wait to see who wins the competition. And I'm going to give you guys a warning. Those of you that are on top, don't think for a second that you can just skim by and not trade or trade very little. I think you may get passed up here at the end. So hopefully we have the market that will allow you to do so. And uh, again, I'm looking forward to it. Traders, don't ever think that you're out of the competition. There's plenty of time today, tomorrow, and Monday to get yourself into the top 10 and win yourself one of our great trading packages.